This morning, we are learning about a momentous discovery that could overturn our understanding of human history. The discovery was made by researchers studying our pre-human ancestors in an area of South Africa known as the Cradle of Humankind. They now believe those ancestors may have had a head start in using fire as a tool. Deborah Pata shows us why that is so important. Sometimes you just have to go upside down and turn around to see what's been right in front of you all along. You know, make it look simple. <laughs> That's renowned paleoanthropologist Lee Berger talking to an orange-clad team member hanging upside down in the rising star caves just outside Johannesburg. Dubbed underground astronauts, they've made a profound discovery. We're in the tunnel. <laughs> Turns out humans are not so special after all. Just because we've been by it a hundred times doesn't mean we've seen it. Nearly 10 years ago, Berger and his team first discovered a new species here, Homo naledi, one of our non-human ancestors. Great work. Beautiful. He drew sharp criticism for hypothesizing that the creature was deliberately placing its dead in a dark and dangerous underground chamber that no one believed was possible to navigate without light. And the reason they didn't believe it was because Homo naledi, with its tiny little brain, just bigger than a chimpanzee, couldn't have had fire. The controlled use of fire was supposedly unique to humans. And for nearly a decade, his team found no evidence Homo naledi had used fire. Well done, guys. Until Berger lost over 50 pounds job. so that he could squeeze through those narrow corridors himself for the very first time in August. My shoulders through. It was torture all the way down. Into the first chamber. Exhausted, he finally reached the bottom. And I looked up, and I realized the ceiling was black. It was burnt. It was covered in soot. It had been right above our heads the entire time. But you were looking down all the but time. But we're always looking down. Undeniable evidence of fire. On that very same day, his lead investigator, paleoanthropologist Kanilwe Molopiani, was making another remarkable find like nearby. And then pieces of bone start coming up burnt bone and I'm just like okay all right I can't ignore it anymore right because as an archaeologist you have to follow the evidence burnt bones they were eating there after that they saw fire everywhere and I suspect based on what we're seeing they're not just carrying fire I think they're making it the manufacturing they're manufacturing fire, fire. and it's done hundreds of thousands of years, perhaps, before maybe humans were doing it. Berger believes really? this discovery will challenge our assumptions Here. about human Here. uniqueness. And it should give us pause. It should make us think deeply about the way we have placed ourselves on a pedestal as something special. Because Homo naledi is beginning to prove that it may have happened many times in the past. We are arrogant as humans, though, because we think we have we're superior. I mean, one of the reasons that humans are so harmful to the environment, to this world, is because we think we have some ownership of it. For Molopiani, it's not just about a groundbreaking discovery. For a very long time, um, archaeology and paleoanthropology, all the discoveries made in Africa have been made by men. Mostly white men, white usually. Men. Yeah, that is when we start taking back the narrative as Africans and we get to tell the stories now. There's Mirapay. And that narrative starts with the understanding that we are not just part of a complex now, there has been a complex past as well. We just never saw it because all this time we've been looking down instead of looking up. For CBS Mornings, Deborah Patter, Cradle of Humankind, South Africa. What a fascinating mm. story. Just a mind-blowing story. That scientist who lost 50 pounds so he could get down, shimmy yes. into that little cave, and then he looks up and he sees that there's fire evidence on the ceiling. To understand. But yes. that's dedication, Lucy. Dedication. No. That's mo hey, hey, whatever motivates you, <laughs> yes, right? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Just to understand human evolution, to understand that uh, as we all originated from this cradle of civilization in Africa, uh, from the very first proto-human Australopithecus afarensis, to these new discoveries that they're finding is remarkable. Okay, Mr. Scientist over there. <laughs> yes, I know. What was that word? Part of Australopithecus what afarensis is one of the... Did you, you see know, how that just flowed off of his tongue? There was yeah. Africanus. There was, and then, of course, we get into the Homo erectus, Homo habilis.
Tony, I, I really hope your daughter. Uh, what did he you say? <laughs> you speaking English? Latin. Oh. <laughs> Lad. I mean, I'm a, an anthropology nerd amongst the nerding of other things. And we turn yet another page in the book of Vlad. <laughs> yes, I know.